God, I really just don't want to do this tonight. Hey, everybody, it's Saturday night. Uh, <laughs> welcome aboard. Thanks for throwing us under the bus there, producer. Uh, it, uh, it is Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo, Inc. We're glad to have joined you, even though the DM <laughs> doesn't want to be here. Uh, I, I'm just fucking with you. I am really ready to kill these guys. Uh, tonight, we're going to... Uh, Take them to the city of Merv, not Merv Griffin, but Merv, an ancient city, a port city, a city with a lot of surprises, I'm sure. Uh, thanks for joining us. And if you uh, haven't figured out the spiel yet, uh, here it comes again. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, uh, tinyurl.com, RPG swag. You got the bingo shirt and everything. Uh, if you want to join us, uh, take a seat here on either the talk show or one of the games. Uh, give us a shout at mhobo inc or uh, mhobo inc at gmail. Uh, you know the drill, and if you don't know the drill, welcome. You're in for a really scary. Uh, tonight's uh, group features seventh levels, so you know what that means. Yeah, fighting is gonna be long, and uh, spoiler alert: two sorcerers. Oh, we really thought this through. Yeah, these guys <laughs> are glass cannon. Uh, I mean, good. Glass. Uh, We've given them magic armor, we've given them magic weapons, we've given them magic items, and they even have three mystery potions, one apiece. Uh, let's get to who's playing and what they're playing. Start off with David. David, who are you? Who are you playing? I am David. I'm a recovering murder hobo. Um... No, you're not. Not if you're on this show. <laughs> not if you're here. I, uh... Give us back your chip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flick it in. Uh, no, tonight I'll be playing Ren. He is a half elf uh, sorcerer, draconic bloodline. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, next up is uh, Kyle, aka King of Cats. Hi, everybody. I'm Kyle. I'm the uh, best DM of the murder hobos, uh, <laughs> at least second most frequent. Uh, and tonight I will be playing the King of Cats. I am a god. That is all you need to know. I raise the people from the dead. I also take the death away from them. So, <laughs> uh, And spoiler alert, folks, I made the first encounter before I knew who any of these guys were playing. Uh, must involve cats. It's got to involve tabaxi. Uh, last but certainly not least, Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, everyone. I'm Carol. I am a mini painter and also a member of this the fine campaign that's here. Uh, tonight, I'm going to play uh, Rosa the Raven, my swashbuckler. You don't play on the Sunday night campaign. What are you That's talking right. about? Sunday night, play on Sunday that night is the great campaign. Those yeah. guys know how to play, man. <laughs> you play on that dipshit squad. <laughs> Suicide squad if y'all had to wear helmets. What? <laughs> uh, tonight, folks, uh, if, if you didn't see the overlay, uh, these guys have just come from a successful, quasi-successful raid on a tower uh, at Bacock, uh, because I watch too much Family Guy, clearly. Uh, <laughs> the biggest problem that these guys don't know is they were teleported to the t uh, Tower of Bacock, uh, and they are unfamiliar with this area. However, uh, as they looted and pillaged the tower, <laughs> They recovered an old map, which shows that they are not too far away from the great city of Merv. Uh, one of their meat shields sadly succumbed to significant injuries, as well as all of this cool shit. It all got fucked up. Uh, so these guys have stolen a yak, borrowed a yak, uh, detained a yak, thrown the body of their uh, cohort over it, and they are headed to the city of Merv because uh, they were teleported here. They don't have any mounts, so I don't get to kill any of those. Maybe I'll kill the yak tonight. Uh, I believe, Frank, you are actually misconstrued. Our dead tank is walking on his own feet because oh, I have brought him back to life. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> didn't I tell you he was disintegrated? No, you said we put him on the back of a yak his ashes 
I'm trying to raise my friend back from the dead as a zombie, Frank. We, we Why are you it, taking this away from me? We used his helm as an urn to sweep this stuff in. I will allow it. Out. <laughs> he will ride the yak into battle. The battle yak. <laughs> Again, I, I really, I, I don't want to do this tonight. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you guys follow the map as best you can. Uh, with daylight waning, you come to the cusp of a valley. Uh, the salt air is uh, wafting into your faces. A lot of birds can be heard. Typical, you know, uh, horizon events that you can see water. And as you come to the cusp, uh, you notice the great city of Merv is deserted, destroyed, heavily damaged, and appears to be abandoned. I'll take perception checks. What the fuck happened? Uh, come on. All right. 13? <laughs> Jinx, 13. Oh, lucky number. Come on, make it a hat trick. Uh, is he? Uh oh. Oh, there he's got the map. Uh, King of Cats, what was your perception roll? Is he muted? I am muted. Of course, I am oh, muted. It is. Because you always do that. <laughs> Meh. I always do lots of things. What was your perception roll? Uh, because I am a god, I rolled a 14. God, I hate it when you guys draw on my map. <laughs> uh, wow, two 13s and a 14. Uh, you know what? I'll give it to you. you see some movement along uh, the gate line outside of Ward 2. And you know what? I'm showing you the wrong map. Oh! Well, oh, no. That's a good map. Yeah, that's, that's the map you followed. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> wah, wah. That's okay. Same so it, as you can see, uh, over here in these buildings, uh, you see some movement. Uh, there's one of the main gates. Uh, there's the other main gate. Uh, and this thing is definitely abandoned. Uh, from your lofty perch, you can tell that the keep has been raised. This section and these two sections are uh, fallen in upon themselves. Uh, these sections are all legitimate or still have buildings. And the dock area seems to be significantly underwater. But right for right now, the movement you see is right about there. Nice. Can we find out what it is? Not from this position. Um, I can try to be... Well, I'm not great at stuff, but I could try to be sneaky, sneaky and get closer. You can I will out. walk in forward because I am a god and they should worship me. And, All right. and because I've already said I've put in NPCs that I didn't know you were playing. Uh, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you, in case you missed the other title card, this is for mature audiences only. So if our profanity offends you, Switch channels, because it's only going to get worse. Uh, find the game that you like. Don't depend on others. Uh, so as you Stop guys fucking depending on others. God damn it, you stupid little cunt. So <laughs> as you guys go down the uh, well-worn, well-traveled road, uh, you notice that uh, a feeling of absence comes over you uh, as you finally reach the bottom and you move up you notice that everything here shaded in gray is crumbled in upon itself it is just debris everywhere but right about here you see a small encampment uh, a little bit smaller than thorpe size and as you approach i will say you all notice tabaxi it is my people. Ah, uh, they have come and they have worshipped me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go sneak off. Some I'm gonna make a stealth roll. I'll let the king of cats deal with this. Okay, there's not a whole lot of area that can hide you unless it's on the south side of the road. I'll go to the south side of the road. That's fair. It's right across 
the camp, right? South Although, side. That's not a very good check, so I don't really find a lot of things to hide behind. That's only a nine. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you're moving a lot of rubble, and you're clearly heard. Uh, King of Cats, give me a d6 roll to see which one of the group sees you first. Uh, number one, just like I am. Number, number one. one, an individual in a robe dressed like Hong Kong Fui approaches you. <laughs> I saw honorable cat. Oh, oh, I feel the power flowing through me. I am Felix Abernathy. What brings you to our fair abode? We have a dead man in a helmet. I will take your dead man in a helmet and raise you two handfuls of kibble. Wait, have you taken back? Excuse me. Excuse me, what, what is this shit? And I smack it out of his hands. I am your god. I demand the premium stuff. Oh, as you- Can to, food only. <laughs> as you go to snap it out, you must be faster. <laughs> this guy is a fast monk. He's Felix David Abernathy. And he nice. excuse himself and go into the closet for a few minutes. <laughs> oh, oh my. <laughs> uh, a oh second no. tabaxi <laughs> exits what appears to be the saloon. Give me a, another D6 roll. I am the king of cats. I rolled a one because I am number one. <laughs> Felix, Felix has figured out that the restroom closet is occupado. Uh, Rosa, give me a perception check. Um, okay. Uh, jeez. Uh, what is that? I have all new stats. Uh, we're perception, uh, 16. Not good enough. Uh, and you feel some hot breath over your shoulder. What do you see? <laughs> <laughs> I look, I'm doing that. I am looking. It is a calico cat. What is it what that I you see? see? You see you people. What do you whoa, see? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the way well it's with the you people? Uh, I you, you have offended Boots O'Shaughnessy, <laughs> Tabaxi Rogue. And he goes, reaches behind your ear and goes, is this your gold piece? That's his very <laughs> It is now. <laughs> yeah, it is now. I'll catch it. So what are you doing here? Ah, uh, not picking your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Take that gold piece back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I said, uh, yeah, do I notice anything? Uh, oh, I no. made the uh, he was, uh, he was urinating. I will <laughs> I'll actually take a check and make sure my stuff is there because, you know, I do know. Your stuff is there. Okay, so he did not. <laughs> it was going to be odd, even, even. He was going to do it, and it was a 13. So, uh, what are you doing at this miserable place. He starts screaming, Intruder, there's an intruder over here. There's an intruder over here. Uh, King, King of Cats, Felix looks over and goes, One of yours? I'm with the King of Cats. I'm his bodyguard of the King of Cats. All hail the King of Cats. Under He's the boss. He's a terrible bodyguard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen that person before in my entire life. Oh. It is an assassin. Can I, can I make persuasion? <laughs> that is my racist uh, bodyguard. Yes. Xenophobic <laughs> <laughs> Rosa. <laughs> yes, you can make a persuasion check. Cats, what are you talking about? Just you uh, people, eh? 23 <laughs> persuasion to say I'm his bodyguard. I'm just making sure everything's on the up and up. And I'm I'm crafting uh, a minor illusion of a silver crown to place upon your <laughs> highness's head. <laughs> uh, again, I am not your highness, I am a god. Ah. Give me a perception check, Ren. <laughs> then why are you the king? If you're because that is my name. I am the king of the cats. Uh, perception is 16. Uh, you perceive movement behind you. Uh-oh. 
It's I another... turn really fast. <laughs> it is a gray cat that is very bulked up. Uh oh. <laughs> holding his sword over his shoulder. You have now met Ajax of Abaros, the fighter. Ajax? Uh, Boots O'Shaughnessy gives, uh, gives you a shove there, Rosa, to head on out where everybody else is. Please join us. Enjoy our hospitality, you racist pig. <laughs> <laughs> If you feel the need to kill her, that is fine, provided one of you become my bodyguard in her stead. <laughs> I say that to everybody. In okay? fact, we could cook her over the fire as a sacrifice to me. So she says that to everybody, so essentially she's Mel Brooks. <laughs> yeah, we say you people to everybody that's not my little group. Uh-huh. It's a racist thing, it's just a thing. But see, I was standing here among them when you said you people. That's That seems very racist. There are people that, yeah, well, I was with you before as a, you know, the other group of people versus our group of people. There's people no again, huh? are better than the other. You know, Stop we are cats. We are cats. We are not people. We are cats. We are tabaxi. Uh, your discussion has brought out three more cats, and one of them I really like cats. Okay, uh, likes Wren. Oh, okay. It is a very white. So you can like them, Carol. A very <laughs> white cat, uh, and appears to be a female. And she looks at Wren and goes, "Me row." <laughs> and I. <laughs> And uh, I do a bow. Why, it's it's a pleasure to meet you. You hear a slight growl from uh, your new fighter friend, Ajax. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, no offense. I did not know she was spoken for. <laughs> uh, I see a perfect opportunity to uh, uh, raise the quality of my friends right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kill these two. We sacrifice them to my name, and we all join in together. Folks, thanks for joining us. It's yeah, been 18 man. minutes of pure fun. Uh, we're we... we're going to kill him. I mean, geez. It's Don't you mean now, cool. you racist pig? Wow. <laughs> no, he's Are you part... going to put us in the showers, Rosa? You know cats hate the showers. Uh, one of the last joiners is wearing full plate armor and appears to be a godly warrior. His hair is magnificent, but it is everywhere. He's got a shoved in nose. Uh, he introduces himself after looking at you and says, I am Sir Mittens. What are you doing here? Looking for a cleric. Sadly, our cleric has perished. Why are you? Why he are was all... not worshiping a very good god, was he? Right. So he why... was worshiping the same god as I was. <laughs> uh, here there you go. Horrible. Time for you to change gods. Yeah, but why? Wait, 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 wait. Why are all of you here where this place is just ruined? What yeah. happened? Well, it's the city of Merv. Are you new here or something? Yeah. Which one do you want to talk to? Uh, The leader. The paladin, Sir Mittens. Sir Mittens says, well, since you're new here, apparently you don't realize that the city of Merv was destroyed almost 60 years ago. The great Uh tidal wave caused an influx of earthquakes, and then the plague that followed wiped out most of the population. This area is considered cursed, but we do not care. We understand that its yarn is magnificent. Oh, where is this yarn, perchance? Wait, somebody we have not asked. found it. <laughs> you know, in order to ride a griffin, you have to use a yarn saddle. <laughs> What's your next question, Rosa? Oh, I, think, well, I was going to say, there are... So wait, you're here because of this mythical yarn? Like, there's a legend of yarn here that you're looking oh, whoa, for? Whoa, 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 whoa. Us people believe in this yarn. I didn't say <laughs> Oh my I... god, Rosa, you are embarrassing me in front oh of my god, friends. Shut up and let me finish, okay? I did not actually say whether or not I believed in it or not. Why not? I didn't say it didn't exist. 
I'm just saying that's true if that's why you were here. Didn't you say mythical? Legends oftentimes, <laughs> hey, oftentimes have a seed of truth in them. We, uh, we are adventurers, similar to you. We are searching for uh, magic yarn armor. That sounds really cool. It would be if we'd stop losing our cleric and everybody else. I myself was severely injured. I had to touch myself a lot. Uh, <laughs> Felix Abernathy says, me too. <laughs> Shut up, Felix. You weren't even hurt. <laughs> <laughs> So what brings you guys here? Something dead? Yeah, one of our members is dead. He's up on the yak over there. And now, is he, uh, is he animated? Is he animated? Yeah. You told me he was dust, so I assume not. I'll, I'll give you the zombie. Because there's a paladin now. Right. Uh, yes, <laughs> he is animated. Okay, uh, but he's riding the yak or... You've got he is strapped on the yak. in the yak, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. The other one uh, that is a calico with patches of fur missing, it looks like she has mange, uh, is inspecting the yak and stroking its long fur. She carries it would make axe. very nice yarn. <laughs> it would make some nice yarn. Also good to eat. Yeah, but we we need that uh, yak to carry <coughs> our deceased comrade and our stuff. So no, that is not true, but <laughs> <laughs> I pull out this scroll and I show the paladin, Sir Mittens, and I'm like, could you perchance read this and tell us what we want to know? Warren Ipsum. Uh, 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 folks at home, these guys were giving a uh, nonsensical scroll. Uh, several words such as resurrection, trades, guild were all mentioned in it. Uh, Sir Mittens looks it over. Uh, nothing about the magic yarn. Mm. Oh, that is too bad. I, I don't care anymore. Well, this is a transaction <laughs> agreement between the guilds and the trade union. Uh, stating for a certain sum of money, a stone of resurrection will be Is there a second page? You have to flip it over. <laughs> well, that appears to be blank. It's written in invisible ink. Only a god can see it. What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> I look at, yeah, I look at Mr. King of Cats. I'm like. It is not Mr. King of Cats. It is your highness, your royalty, your Mr. God, Mr. King of Cats. God. So, highness. Sir Mitten says it appears as though you need to either go to the Guild District, which is Guild District 3, or uh, Area 7, which is, no, I'm sorry, Area 6. Uh, which would be the trade union. So there you go. You either need to go to three or six. <coughs> Thank you for your information. Donata. <laughs> uh, by the way, where is your cleric friend? <sighs> My cl Our cleric friend uh, yes. succumbed in the keep with the rust monsters oh that is terrible i'm so sorry that is ward one yes yes that is ward okay. one we should not go there i mean i am going to be perfectly fine because i am not made of rust <laughs> but i don't think the rest of us should go there no no definitely not. okay <laughs> are there any good stopping points on the way to ward six uh, we have not been that deep into town. Ward 2 seems to have a significant amount of problems. Well, what is wrong with Ward 2? There's a lot of things in there. The bugbears control that area. Hmm. Bugbears, you say? Yes, they hmm. are hairy beasts, but their hair is coarse. <laughs> but it's not suitable for yarn. Absolutely not. The barbarian whips out a haunch and goes... But it's good eating. 
and takes a bite out and pro offers one to king of cats that makes sense Haunch? oh yes thank you Haunch. i just touch it i'm just like ah oh, yes your worship thank you it empowers me he pulls it back she pulls it back uh, and I <laughs> subtly cast Prestidigitation on it so it doesn't taste quite as good as it used to. <laughs> she does uh, not care. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> it, she's got entrails dangling out of her fur anyway. So. <laughs> sure. Not exactly a connie soir of bugbear meat. Uh, if you would like to go in there, uh, you may certainly share our abode for the night if you want to make a run in the morning or you may go in at night but it could be dangerous is one is it less dangerous during the day well you could ask the dead cleric <laughs> <laughs> now where exactly did you leave your dead cleric uh, there is a giant crater where the castle is oh, okay Awesome. Oh, thank you. Okay. We I mean, left him near the entrance to the cave. It was guarded by a rabbit. A very fierce a rabbit. Very fierce rabbit. <laughs> Is it white? It what? Is the rabbit white? The rabbit is white. Is that a problem for your xenophobic friend, King of Cats? <laughs> it is probably a very terrible thing. I, I, I am not xenophobic. Hey, I, hey, if she makes it out, we'll come back your way. <laughs> so they offer you the hospitality of their hovel, uh, which is an old inn. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, an old tavern. Yes, an old tavern. Um, but other than that. Well, do, do you think that we'd be better off going during the day or sneaking by at night under the cover of darkness? I would not take your friend on the yak if I were you. No, no, no. <clears throat> you leave it here can we trust that your friend there who was looking at it um like it was good eating will not kill it we need it insight you don't necessarily <laughs> need the yak the insight 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 i don't think i have a great insight where is it yeah uh, that's only a 10. i sir mittens of the god felinus will protect your yak Linus By my nice. paw, you shall have your yak back. We are never seeing that. Baby yak. back, baby Belinus. back, baby back. Swear <laughs> <laughs> on the king of cats. What is that? Swear on the king of swear, cats? I want him to swear on your name that he is going to protect our yak. Sir Mittens immediately answers, eh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dead kill that fucking yak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to. The, the yak does not seem to be disinclined to stay. It's just sitting there. All As right. a yak does. <laughs> I turn to you two, anyways, and I'll ask do you want to go tonight? And you people to want to go tonight? <laughs> Shut up. Honest to gosh. Jeez. <laughs> it's corrupted. Do you two want to go tonight or do you want to wait till morning? Um, I should go tonight because I am a black cat and I would like to go at night. As your highness wishes. <laughs> that is fair. I like the cover of darkness too. What do we do with our yak? Well, we leave him here, of course. He swore on my name that he would stay alive. Your felinus? No, I am the king of cats. Velinus is a jackass uh, brother-in-law of mine who can uh, suck a cow's dick. Cows and are female. Him, <laughs> that is say, what Velinus does not know. <laughs> that yak is totally dead, but it is. Hey, hey, anyway. if he is dead, I will bring him back to life for I am the king of cats. Okay, that is fair. And I'm sure you can. So I can, of course I can. Dark vision. Of course. I do not have dark vision. I'm a freaking human. <laughs> and that's what you get for being sarcastic to the king of cats. 
So do oh, you no. want to light a torch? <laughs> uh, I may try to go it until we're discovered before we have to. Do you guys have light? <laughs> uh, no. No, I don't. Well prepared party, folks. Well prepared. <laughs> I am a god. I do not answer all prayers. Wait, Here's a torch. Two sorcerers and neither of you have light. Vegas oh. just called your odds are dropping on survival. Yeah. <laughs> you, you guys are less than the yak at this point. <laughs> 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 oh man if you want to stay the night we can stay the night and walk in during the day it's up I don't, I don't but i can't see as well that is true but i mean well, we can't is that a human thing I, manage, I can try to manage where you two take the lead and i'll just follow behind how long uh, does light last an hour um mm -hmm. uh, Oh. Ginger Vitus, the female cat that is attracted to Ren, would offer <laughs> to give you a stone. Uh, she thinks it will last all night long. Probably not. <laughs> Ginger Vitus isn't a very good sorceress. Uh, but she's got a 20 charisma. We'll, we'll, we'll take it anyway. <laughs> So she gives you a cloth and she says, just pull the cloth off and you have light. Ah. We pull the cloth off just to double check that there is light <laughs> on the stone already. There is light on the stone. Okay. That okay. Is okay. That's just good. Then we're so, leaving the yak behind. Of course we're leaving the yak behind. <laughs> and uh, I, I hand it to Rosa as just like, guard this with your life. <laughs> you can count on it. I will, and I said, I will try to, we're, we'll try to sneak through, you know, area two to get to, which one did we want to get to, six or? Six the, and three. I figured six was straight path there. So we want to try six first? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Your Highness? Yeah. That, that, <laughs> that sounds good to me. All right, so that's what I apologize. Do. When I play the king of cats, I tend to take control because I am a god. You are a god. Thank you. Oh, that is all. Oh. The king of cats like having you scratched right behind the ear, or are you more of the chin type? I will <laughs> use it for base. one moment. <laughs> what? The <laughs> <laughs> the tail pulling type. Yeah, of course I am. But if you touch my tail, I will kill you. Oh, I want your tail, unless you ask me to. Good. Because I am not going to ask you to because I, I, I don't want that. Good good do, thing. Do Rain not, is not pull here. my tail. The huh? rain, if it's the radio wouldn't do that. If consent does matter. <laughs> to her it does matter. Because uh, when we held that captain down that one time, we had consent. <laughs> he didn't seem to um say no though. <laughs> It was the meow two movement. <laughs> See, folks, I told you. Should have just scrapped tonight. <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys are going to go in at dusk, correct? Yep. yep. Yes. Fair enough. Uh, Boots of Shauna, I should say, uh, asks the others, hey, do we still have any more of that catnip? They reply, <laughs> yes, inside. And he beelines in. Uh, let's see. Ajax, the fighter, will take the yak in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Followed by Sox McGillicuddy, the female barbarian. Following closely, touching its tail for fiber. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, I gotta die. I'm just gonna be shaved. Yeah, uh, they have patches all over. <laughs> none of them like the zombie creature on the back. So, of but course not. They take it inside, tell you it'll be safer inside than out. And oh no, I take the zombie with us. What was his name again? Steve. Steve. <laughs> let Steve lead the way. Steve the zombie. <laughs> well, I'm it'll be Steve. slow going. He is not a zombie. He is Steve. I have risen him from the dead. 
you know what? Let's change his name to Sean. Yeah. Uh, Sean of the Dead. Yes. Nice. Sean the Fighter will uh, lead on. Uh, uh, do you want to go down the main road or do you <laughs> want to uh, kind of house to house it? Uh, Sean will go down the main road. I think we should house to house it. I agree with that. Yeah. I am also going to spend the time and I will cast mage armor upon Sean. So he is a little tougher zombie than he was a second ago. <laughs> and mage armor on myself. That seems like a good idea too. That's so that's you. that's the direction you're going. Correct. Yep. 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 Uh, okay. We're going to house to house it though. You guys, you want to go on the north side or the south side? North side. South, south side is the uh, area that's been caved in. Hmm. Are there more? What side's got more bugbears? Mm, they don't know. They don't know. Okay. Which side, guys? North or south? I, I, I mean, it is. Think of cats. We should go on the left side. Always go on the left. Okay, that, that, that's good advice. You pick so a direction. They, uh, the structures there are in uh, dilapidated condition. I will first start off with three dexterity checks from each of you, or from the party. One from each of you, please. Okay, one, well, all right. Oh, I think that's, uh, I have to look at those scary. Yeah, that's not 20. That's a 24. 19 for the first one for Ren. Uh, 19 as well. Uh, all three of you managed to go into the first couple of buildings without incident. Now I will take perception roll, please. <coughs> Might as well. Wait. Okay, that's like uh, perception is one of my specialties. 16. 19. <laughs> I'm a king. I do not need to uh, look around wherever I go. I am fine with a five. <laughs> uh, Ren and Rosa, you hear the sound of rocks skipping. Like down the street going da, 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 da. Uh, like outside. <clears throat> Can you guys hear that? Oh, is Sean looking? And then you hear a groan. Uh. From Sean? Uh, do you want to go look? Uh, I can make a stealth check to go look. Sure, go ahead. Of course, I can't see shit right now. Oh, that's terrible. Eight. That's an eight. Ren, are you going to look too or no? Uh, I'll see if I can fare better. <laughs> yeah, I please. have a dirty 20 to see how Sean is doing. Uh, Sean is getting hit by rocks. Uh, <laughs> uh, 22 for Ren. Yeah, you two both see that uh, Sean is being attacked by rocks being flung from the debris from both sides of the street, indicating that you will soon be upon one of the throwers on the left side, whereas the one on the south side of the road, you cannot see because of course, uh, it is a depressed area and it's sunken in. Sorry, and so I'm gonna ask the ones with the dark vision, do you see where the thrower is? Because I probably can't, if it's but dark. They are on either side of the street. Mm -hmm. You can see exactly where, where I'm going for because I'm going to go up and try. I assume you'd like me to shank him. Uh, sure. Provided you say, the king of cats is hello before you shank him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the king Here, of let me give you my dagger and there. I give you the ceremonial dagger of a black cat handle. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, <laughs> folks. <laughs> But I'm probably going to use my red bear. <clears throat> that is sad, but... So you are going to sneak ahead in the dark, not using the Stone of Light, correct? Ah, uh, yeah, because I don't want them to see me. Okay, give me... Uh, can I do something? Sure. I throw the light rock at Sean. Yeah, and I, I tell him to pick it up and hold it up like this. And therefore, when she sneaks around... They yeah, will yeah. be saluted against the light of Sean. Saluted. And that is why he is a god. <laughs> he thinks of these. Yeah, it's like, yeah, if you actually tell me that I hand you the rock, I go, go for it. That's yeah, cool. <laughs> I swear to God, I hope this is an awesome roll because I know what I'm going to do. Oh, no. 
Uh, yes. Uh, four, a three, and an 18. Uh, uh, first off, try and hit the area of Sean. Uh, that's that you, Rosa. <laughs> no, that's King of Cats. Oh, King of Cats. There we go. 18 on the die. You get right into his feet. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he reaches down, Statue of Liberty at it. It's like the oh. uh, the Preakness toilet run where they're throwing beer cans <laughs> at the person. And uh, one of them clocks Sean with an 18 and JFKs him probably uh, too soon. But boom! Back into the left. <laughs> he drops the rock and kind of goes down to his knees. Uh, Rosa, oh. give me a perception or give me an investigation check since you're Sean. out where you're going. Oh, God. No, Sean is just doing his job that he did in life. Yeah. As he is doing again in life because he's back to life. He is not dead. Please tell me that's a one. No, it's a four, so that's a six. You have no idea. Well, you've got a vague idea, a truly vague idea where the rock from the left is coming from. You can plainly see where the rock on the right is coming from. Basically, as he threw it, so hopefully their attention is on that light stone because it'll be, you know, meteoring across the... Rest the assured, path. they have his full focus on Sean. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's when, that's, I go is when he, when he, when he, you know, throws the rock. And then I said, basically, I've been trying to pay attention to where, you know, where the rocks are coming from. Or at least I have a general idea until I get close enough. Yeah, not with a six. So they're going to uh, wing another round at him. Oh, no. Ooh. Uh, you hear a uh, loud scream from odd left, even right. Eight, even. Uh, from the ditch, you hear a loud scream as one of the rocks goes up and over Sean's head and <laughs> probably doinks somebody. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> it's so very sad. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, so I guess I'm looking do, again. Do any of you speak bugbear? No. No. <laughs> bugbear speak goblin? Uh no. Do you speak kobold? Uh, draconic. <laughs> That's almost kobold. That is exactly kobold, kobold. in five e. <laughs> draconic and kobold are the same language. Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, you know what? Let me write that Kobolds one down. That worship is a dragons. Stupid reason for five e. <laughs> well, hey. Bring on six e. I believe are kobolds in this version lizards. They Not are probably. You know what? I'll I'll give you goblin because who cares? They're uh, they're the I same don't... thing. They're rats with wings, according to Bob Euchre. Uh, in <laughs> goblin, one of them starts swearing. <laughs> The one on the right side. So it's not bugbear, it is goblin, so you can understand what they're saying. Uh, now they are engaged in a verbal argument between each other as Sean struggles back to his decrepit feet. Rosa, give me an investigation check at advantage now that they're screaming at each other. Come on, you friggin'. Oh, that was a lot better. So 15 plus. Yeah, you, you know where they're at. Yeah, that's 22. Another volley of rocks are exchanged. This time, Sean is not the target. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and you can hear them skittering off the debris in the buildings. So they are throwing rocks at each other. Okay. Sean picks up the stone, Statue of Liberties, and begins his descent down the slope of the city. Oh, no, no. Sean is currently down. standing there like this. Oh, sorry. He, you don't want him moving anymore. I don't want him moving anymore. No, okay. Illuminating the, the baddie I'm going after. <laughs> uh, light has a radius of what? 120? Or okay. 60 for the radius? I don't have it handy. Why so. do you ask all the hard questions, Frank? Just ask the easy ones. Call cool, Frank. Uh, a 20 foot radius of bright light and a yeah. 20 uh, foot of dim light. So, so 40. 40 feet. Uh, yeah, you aren't going to have a good picture of them, but you will be able to see the origination of the stones. Because at 40 feet, uh, they're behind rubble. 
Mm, I'm wondering, I mean, does he seem to be more focused? Like, are they pelting him now with rocks? Because he's- They're, they're think, pelting each other with rocks. You know, I, I kind of do this to the guys. Maybe we can try to sneak by him. No, or have, no, kill him. I'll stay here. Him. You want to go? All right, fine. I'll go try to kill him. All right, Sacrifice him. Sacrifice him. Yes. <laughs> All right. So whatever. As you get closer, one more volley. Maybe they'll kill each other. <laughs> They're going to kill each other, aren't they? Uh, the one in the ditch is now unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> and in Goblin, that's what you get when you mess with the warrior. <laughs> 1979, folks, the Warriors. Uh, so, uh, Rosa, you are sneaking up on yours, who is the victor, and he's like, now to get that zombie. All right, so. Um, so yes, give me a stealth roll, and then give me an attack roll. Because if you botch the stealth roll, here you're coming. That is, that is an 18. Okay. Yeah, you sneak up on him. You get a full view of the silhouette as you come in from behind him, and he's <laughs> he's aiming. I mean, he's he's getting down the trajectory and everything. As Sean is, uh, uh. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna try to shank him. Good. Hey, right, come on. Oh, that's a shank. That's 18 on the die. So that's 26. Yep. That gets him. So what do oh wait, what do I have for sneak attack at this level? 46! Oh, I get to use all my murder hobo dice. Yay! Yeah. He'll be dead. And that would he be... only had one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I roll? Yeah, go ahead and roll. He had more than one hit point. Okay. Uh it's a D8. Okay, just... Actually, for SMGs, I'm I know I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with the if you follow, I'm gonna shank him with the uh, the dagger at the same moment. Oh, I predict I might it might have done it. Let's see, that's 10, uh, 10 16, 21, 26 plus he's dead. <laughs> he's a goblin for God's sakes. Just for yeah, I'll I'll put both I'll basically I'll thrust both things. This is just for flavor, obviously. So I could say I use the dagger to sacrifice him. Rosa. <gasps> Yes. <laughs> his head off. Uh, give me a, everybody. Give me a perception check. Okay. That was a really good roll. Oh, that is very good. Twenty-two. Ooh. Wow. Uh, what would you say? Perception. Perception. Uh, Twenty-four. All three of you here, even with Ren's shitty roll. Uh, son of a bitch in Goblin, uh, coming from the depressed area. Uh, and you hear the, the moving of stones as if some creature is trying to stand up again. <laughs> I go over to him and I kill him quickly. Uh, you're going to have to cross the road and get there in a hurry. So what's your movement speed? 60. Wow. Okay. Oh. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> How are you moving 60? Because I am a tabaxi and if I wish to, I can double my movement speed. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for, for no apparent thing. reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, let's see. And this is the guy who was knocked unconscious, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, assumably, I can just go and kill him. If you hit him. Okay, I am going to hit him. I might not hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see your highness take his swipe. Uh, he's going to have to make... 14? Uh, hey, King of Cats, I think you get an advantage because he's prone. I know, he's getting oh, up. Stood up. He was getting up. Oh, but I moved very quickly to get over to him. You sure oh, did, God. but he's a 15 and he got up. He sees the panther approaching him <laughs> and squeals loudly. <laughs> God damn it, you should have just came behind me and we could have just gone. Now Ren, just... you haven't done anything. What do you want to do? He's going to have to make a, a 15 con save. <laughs> no! 15 on the roll and plus zero. Oh. Okay. 
Ah! Okay. Believe you. <coughs> what uh, was it? Oh, wait. 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 wait, 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 wait. I can, as a divine soul sorcerer, I can add 2d4 to my attack roll. Please. Sure, <laughs> I am a god! Uh, well, it was a 15 to hit, right? Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Plus four on top of that. You will hit. So, wow. yeah. <laughs> the squeal is cut short as King of Cats slashes through his throat, I assume. How much damage are you going to do? I am going to do... Ta-da! I am doing eight damage. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah! The uh, claw sliced through the vocal cords just as a slight guttural shriek goes out. Let's see if his associates heard anything. It might have just sounded like a hairball. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Uh, Ren, where are you when you cast your spell? Uh, uh, br- I was uh, just at 60 feet away. <laughs> okay. So you're kind of still on the other side of the street. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, King of Cats, you are up close and personal. Rosa, are you still where number one is at? I haven't gone, so I, yeah, I haven't what? done still there. Uh, Sean is still Statue of Liberty and things. <laughs> I looked right. across the road to the other two to see what they want to do. Or You can see the faint outline of the King of Cats, uh, and if you look back, you can see Ren. uh, They can see me, so I'm like, we should keep moving, keep moving. Oh, oh, wait, quick. Bring the bodies to me. I will bring them back to life. How many times can you animate dead? As many spell slots as I have, and I am a sorcerer, so I can make many more spell slots. (laughs) I will do that. How, wait, how big is the bug bear? I, actually, I'm strong. Uh, I, These are I, goblins. These are goblins. Oh, goblins. I thought they were bug bears, you said. All right. There oh, are yeah. bug bears here. These are not them. Oh, okay. So I will go easily pick up the... I almost want to take it and follow it across the road. <laughs> I throw it at him, and then I walk in. respectful for the dead. Do you hit Steve or Sean? Go ahead and roll a d20 straight up. Get Sean. I'm trying to roll a d20 straight up. I don't know. Four. Close. (laughs) (laughs) Sean. Uh. (laughs) Uh, Go ahead. What is your radius? Uh, what is your, your your net radius, uh, the distance that you can cast that? Oh, I'm going to go up to the body and take them together. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Yes. yes. So now you have Sean of the Dead. I have Ed and Liz. <laughs> I was going to go with Pete, but okay. Ed and Liz, I, I get that one. That's fine. Next one up is Beetlejuice, though. Okay. <laughs> Uh, So now you have three dead, one of them holding the torch, uh, the magic stone of light aloft, uh, and they're going down the street. I am going to quickly, I am going to press to digitate the goblins so they look cleaner and less, I had my throat torn open or I was sacrificed. And I will uh, uh, have them hold onto Sean's hands as they all three walk. So Sean looks like a prisoner. So Sean's magic stone is down to his side. By the way, I do do give you the dagger, but I'll come over the other side of the road and I'll give you back. (laughs) Thank you. It is a very good dagger, is it not? Yeah, it's great. (laughs) Damn Skippy, even if it is a cat person dagger. (laughs) I'm gonna close my distance and uh, catch up with your highness. Fair enough. So now you have gone here and you continue to move forward. One more question may I ask? Sure. Are the goblins wearing armor? Uh, Leather. Leather armor? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will upgrade and give them both mage armor as well. Okay. 
you're keeping track of your spells, right? I am very much doing that. I got yeah. my poker chips and everything. Okay, very good. Uh, so when you get to this intersection here, uh, there is a campfire. This is all very escape from New Yorkish. <laughs> There's a campfire with a lot of large humanoids around it. Uh, Ed, Liz, Sean, let's uh, stop before we go much further. Uh, and uh, Sean, cover the light, please. No, no, put your fingers together and, and cover. Close your, cl that's good, Sean, thank you. <laughs> uh, he manages to dispel the light as much as he can before uh, reaching the outline of the fire pit. Wait, Sean, put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth and keep it shut. He can't put his whole fist in his mouth, otherwise he'd be a much more valuable companion. <laughs> Some say it is better when it is cold. <laughs> so, oh, Lord. are we trying to circumvent this bonfire? Or are we? That's a lot. Of, how many? How many uh, people, beings, bugbears, whatever, around it? You count at least six. Oh. Do we want to sneak around it? What? Why are you shaking your head there? Oh, yeah. Because Kyle's knows. got an idea. <laughs> I, know. I, I have an idea what he's going to do, but we'll see if he does it. Well, I was just going to say we should kill them all and then bring them to life in the light of the King of Cats. If you want to try, there's six of them. Now, I mean, is there, for Animate Dead, it goes by hit dice, doesn't it? Or no? no. Oh, uh, if they spell. are humanoid, yeah. Necromancy sucks in 5e, unless you're the DM doing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but we use either Ed or Liz to sneak a couple of the bugbears away. Kill them! <clears throat> then kill the rest. And then we should be safe. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> My bodyguard can have a bodyguard, Rosa. Rosa, hey, you've God. always wanted a bodyguard of a bugbear. I know, I've seen it in your eyes. Not really? You it wanted means. it and you didn't even know it. So That's right. Yes. But, I mean, but okay. So this is the plan. So we're going to kill them. All right. Any of you guys um, have Roberta. fireball? <laughs> well, I, I don't have fireball. No, I thought about it, but I was like, uh, no. Yeah, yeah. What do I look like, Tamlin? No, I don't do fireball. <laughs> it's overrated. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, I have ice storm. So, do we want to give it a shot, or do we want to split them up? <laughs> Now, when you had him cover up the light, did you have him stop as well or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'd say no. Do you two, do you two have? I, I mean, I assume you two have something. Uh, you said ice storm, although I don't know. Ice storm is not like a year's degree. Um, I'm fine if you guys want to get an opening shot, and then, but I have to be careful because I think ice storm makes the uh, it makes things very slippery to walk on. Yeah, it does. It turns it into difficult. You know what terrain. doesn't? Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Frank. <laughs> Fireball is a maze balls, okay? Of course uh, it is, but No, usually a lot of times it can be hard to it, it can be hard. Oh, actually we have those nifty items. I could try We shake <gasps> the Morocco, we blow the whistle, and we hit the tambourine all at once. Yeah. Let's do that. I assume with the whistle, I have to target somebody. It's not an area of effect, is it? Correct. It is a targeted victim. I do not like the way you say victim. Well, it says able to be used three times a day. This whistle can send shockwaves at a targeted victim if a DC 13. I'm just <laughs> reading what I wrote. Okay, that sounds perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, it's right there, black and white. Whip some orum. Ducal dookie. <laughs> All right. That no, I think I think I like this idea. Let's see. You get the Morocco. All right. We sure. Why don't we try that? 
Uh, so question you, question sure. about the tambourine though. The sure. tambourine, uh, the sphere is it just is it like a swirling sphere that just comes out and has a radius or? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I was wondering how that worked. What is the the radius? I, uh, forty feet. Forty feet. Okay, mm-hmm. gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I think that's an amazing idea. <laughs> so you're going to use all three things at once. Yes. Fair enough. <clears throat> all ready. Who wants to go first? Um, I don't care. You guys uh, should go first. Let's <laughs> see how this turns out. So, huh? so Rosa, you go first with your whistle of vibration. All right. So actually, wait, I thought you said it was like a cone effect. But how can it be a cone effect if I'm targeting one person? Oh, she. she you're the one. Right. Actually, it's right because you're talking about this in green room, folks. Um, no. No. It, it says at a targeted victim singular. So okay. I must have misspoke. There are now eight creatures that you can see. Oh, God, there's more. All right. So let's do it. So I will take and I'll target the nearest one to me. I say um, maybe you should go with the ice storm. That might be better. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. You guys guys are like uh, the Cowardly Lion, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow. Pretty much. Looking over shit. Okay. All right, I'm whistle then. All right, I'll blow the whistle and I target the one nearest me. That is number two. All right, make your save. Which is what, DC 13? I rolled a four. So that is 2d10 plus 1. Oh, that's pretty good. That's uh, 14 points of damage. That's nice. Not quite. Cool. Uh, Ren, what do you want to do? Uh, well, since, con- <laughs> since your highness brought up Ice Storm, maybe a better idea. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to cast Ice Storm. What is the radius of effect? Uh, yeah. The radius of effect is 20 feet. Okay, you'll get them all. Okay. Uh, with that, they're going to have to make a 15 deck save. Uh, what's the easiest way of doing it? I'll roll four d20s. Uh, that way, two for each. That way, I don't hoge on a really good roll. Okay. The green is the boss. Gotcha. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, four of them pass. Uh the two and the five, I'm guessing, are not. So the mm-hmm. boss, an underlane, and two more underlanes all fail. The other four take half. Okay. And the, okay, the bludgeoning damage is, let's see, that is going to be uh, 18 for that. And then the cold damage will be uh, my handy dandy dice roller. Uh, 20 points cold damage. Wow, so, nice. So 38 total. Mm-hmm. All right, sorry. And, and that's difficult terrain now. Uh, so 14 for the saves. Because it's a uh, save for half, right? Uh, yes. OK, yeah. uh, King of Cats. Are they still alive? Uh, one is dead. Two are dead. Three are dead. So three are left. No, five are left. There's eight. Oh, right, there's eight. I'm sorry, I kept thinking six. Everybody's injured. Three are dead. Uh, five are hurt. A good opening set of- Uh I imagine the big, big guy is still up and about. He is indeed. Uh, okay, I will cast Gatting Bolt, and I will twin it, and so I will shoot at the boss and one of the other people who uh, did not take as much damage, if that is all right. Uh, they all, everybody left took half damage, okay. except for the boss. The boss took full. <clears throat> uh, 20 to hit the boss and 20 to hit the underlings. Both are hits. Okay. They will take, I got a lot of D6s. I got to roll right now. It sounds (laughs) sounds like you're bagging it. Yep. Uh, 
11, 14, 17, 20 to the boss. Okay. And 12, 13, 14, 18 to the underling. Uh, that will kill the underling. Oh, the boss is still alive. 58 damage. Uh, he is now glowing with advantage. Oh, he's glowing all right. <laughs> uh, bad news, uh, your three zombies are still headed right into the middle of the sleet storm. Oh, crap. They are the halted. <laughs> uh, as of right now? They have been halted before we even got to the bonfire, if you recall. I thought they were going in to confuse everybody. No. Okay. Uh, so the three are hanging outside. Uh, they were not within range at the time anyway. Sure. Uh, okay. I will have them move themselves between us and any incoming bugbears. Oh, they are. They're walking down the middle of the street. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, javelin time, everybody. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, one of you gets two. Hey, hey, two. What about the zombies? Nope, they don't want the zombies because they have a prisoner. Can they tell that it's a zombie? No, but they can see two of their associates. Ren, you're getting an extra one. Uh, Ren, you'll get the orange, uh, King of Cats the green, and Copper to Rosa. Okay, I'm going to throw a shield as a reaction. Uh, okay, go ahead. I rolled a 10, two 11s, and a 7. Oh. <laughs> Let's roll initiative. Okay. Well, that's not bad. My initiative oh. is uh, 20. Not okay. natural. Mm -hmm. Kyle Rosa? Mine is a natural 20 for a 27. Okay. King of Cats? Uh, the zombies and I will move at 14. Nat 20 goes first. All right. So is the one I hit with the whistle still up or is he dead? Dead. All he right. went down in the sleet storm. So is the big, the BBEG of this particular encounter, is he um, in the, is he on difficult terrain or is he at the edge where I can fight him? All three are on, or all four are in difficult terrain. The BBG is headed backwards. But he is also glowing, so if you wish to shoot him, you have advantage. Hmm, that's true. Um, I guess, actually, I don't have, no, I don't really have a, I don't, I'm not a shooty type. Uh, I can suck a dagger at him, I guess. Um, It'll be at 60, so... I think that's the harder move, hit. I'm going to move up 30. Okay. Not to thing, and then I'm going to try to hit him uh, with a dagger. All right. So I'm not, well, is this at advantage or is it, a, is it a wash? Because do I get any disadvantage or is the sleet still coming down? It's an it's ice storm, right? Not a sleet yeah. storm? It's an ice storm. Yeah. It's still coming I down. I think it's it still coming down. I think it's I a. Think so. Do I would I get normally disadvantaged for shooting? It is a one action deal. Yeah, it's one action. So, so, so it's it done. happened and it's done. All right. And All right. It's so difficult that, terrain until then. So that is yeah, that's with advantage then, which is good. So that's a uh, twenty-five. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be great. And um, by the way, when I see him headed towards the back, so I'm actually, when I, when I make my move, I'm making my move to go around to join him. Okay. Oh, terrible die roll. That is uh, five points. <coughs> Plus your sneak attack damage? I don't know. Do I get it? Because I'm not really... He hasn't been engaged. But oh. you have advantage, which is what Direct gives the sneak right. attack. Okay, so after four more, not great. Add four more points to that. So what I said was <laughs> That is amazing sneak attack damage. Oh wait, it's for the, I don't know why I'm screwing this up because I think I made my characters cross. Sorry about that, add seven more. So what's that total? So that was nine, 11. 16. Now it's 16. 16? 
Yeah, because I rolled a nine to begin with. Gotcha. Uh, unfortunately for you, I this this is going to be up to you. Okay, he is. I've already rolled for which way he's going. Do you want to go around to the left or do you want to go around to the right? Because he is going directly past you, and then he's either going to go left or right into a building. Uh, I'll go left, I guess. We're on the left side of the road, so I was thinking. Fair enough. Uh, next up is me, 22. Uh, three more javelins, one at each of you. Oh, crap. Uh, the 20 is the green. The 15 plus... Four, 19 is the orange and the copper is a 13 so does a 19 hit ren uh yes it does the nat 20 will hit king of cats 13 rosa you know that misses gotcha uh five hit points of damage to ren and king of cats Okay. Uh, next up is Dirty 20. Dirty right. 20. That's me. Okay, for the boss, he is going to have to make a... Uh, Are you moving up? Because he's 60 from you. I can hit him at 90. Okay. Uh, he's going to have to make a deck save. 15. Uh, 16 on the die plus... Two, is so. he disadvantaged because he's on the ice? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Whoa. Uh, yeah, you didn't like that rule. 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mother. Yeah, 19 plus two. So, yeah, no. Oh, okay. A whole lot you want of me no. to double disadvantage? So yeah, like double the, disadvantage. The <laughs> uh, finally, last but not least, King of Cats. Yay, I can still see the bus. Uh, where are you in the road? Because Carol I, said she was on, or Rosa said she was on the left. I am uh, now standing behind my army of zombies at the moment. You'll be at disadvantage because of the bonfire. Well, the bonfire would have been put out. So, yeah, you can see him. Yeah, I am going to uh, once again. 60 feet. I have 120. So I am going to uh, uh, shoot off again, one at the boss. That is going to be a 24. Hits. Uh, uh, and another 20 for one of the minions. Okay. Uh, it will kill the boss. Yeah. Oh. You had three hit points. I assume you're doing more than three. I am doing <laughs> slightly more, slightly more than three. All right. Slightly. Okay. You did four. Uh, the minion takes... Bob. Bob the minion. <laughs> uh, 15. Bob! And he uh, begins to glow as well. No, he doesn't. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, top of the order, Nat 20. Oh, boy. So what have I got left to kill? Dose. Dose anything, amigos. Anything on a side or whatever? Have I got to go in the air? Oh, we're going to investigate. Go ahead and give me an investigate roll. Oh, I can't tell from just looking at that they're standing. Like, okay, so here's the edge of the thing. I can't tell they're standing, like, right here. It's not investigate. They're just standing there, right? Are they well, in I the ice storm, or are they at an edge where I can hit them? No, they're in the ice they, storm. They, huh. I, I thought you were looking down the road. No, no, no. I'm oh, good. Uh, no, I'm fine with that then. Yes, no, they're still in the ice storm. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're throwing javelins at you. So they are scared of the zombies. I'm good. They well, should be I'm disadvantaged good. trying to throw a dish. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so wait, it just it just doubles your move in there, right? I have 30 feet. What if I'm within 15 feet of either one of them? Uh, yeah, I suppose if you get up to the edge. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get. I want to get up to the one one of them and shank him twice. Well, you'll have to enter the ice in order to shank him. Right, that's what I'm saying. I know oh, it's okay. difficult yeah. terrain is uh, is usually have double your move. So uh, with considering that, am I within 30 feet, which is my move, of one of them? Yes. Okay. 
So otherwise, it will, it will have your move though on difficult terrain, not double that, your move. Well, I meant it costs double. Yes. Okay. I know you. I know. Yeah, you, you, you've got the other way. You're figuring it the other way around, but it's the same thing. All right. But as long as I can reach them in one move, otherwise I can bonus action to dash another move, and then only hit them once. Can I get? I can get in one move, right? Yes. Okay, and then I'm. You will take... be on difficult terrain, but you will get to them. All right. Well, the two is going to miss. <laughs> but, as she uh... slip slides. <laughs> don't care if I die. But I'm pretty sure the 19 for 27, or for 26 rather, is going to hit. Yep. All right. And so, hey, my one. My sneaky attack. So that. Oh, that's, hey, that's great. There's a murder hobo ink right there. So that's 10, 15, 20. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, before I go, perception check, everybody. Perception check. Uh, 15. We're good. 20. 22. I can't even read it. 20, um, 26. The screech of a large creature along with the flap of leathery wings can be heard overhead as it kind of circumvents across the city of Merv uh, and a dark shadow, those of you with uh, infrared or dark vision, can see a very large creature uh, headed out towards sea. It must have been attracted by the cool weather pattern. But just keep Going. It just keeps going. Uh, uh -huh. I have one uh, bugbear left. Uh, it will weigh its options. This time I will see if it decides to hit Sean. Sean will be number four. Okay. Goes after two, King of Cats. Fuck oh. you. <laughs> uh, and with an eight plus <laughs> four, 12. Yeah, no, that misses. Uh, next up, Dirty 20, Ren. Uh, how far away is he from me? Uh, if you're at the edge, she's in 20 feet. 20 feet? Okay. I am going to ray of frost them. Okay. So, so, you're a one trick pony, dude. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> I knew I should have made this a northern port. I, I don't think I hit him. 14. Uh, you did not hit him. Yeah. Uh, King of Cats. Uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. Uh. It's only a 10 on the die, and I think I'm at minus zero. So 10. Okay. King of Cats whips out a mouse and goes, ding. And so with a Toll the Dead, a 18 <laughs> necrotic damage. Nice. Bong, 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 bong. No, no, it is more of a ding. Ding, it is a mouse toy. And I keep playing with it a little bit longer. Oh my god, that is... Until people look at me, and then I say, what are you looking at, you bastard? Is he dead? <laughs> oh yes, he's dead. Okay, let's gather the bodies, people. By five. All right, yeah. I, I'll help gather the bodies. And, uh, uh, with my 13 strength, I did start pulling Everybody give, give me just a straight-up d20 roll twice. Oh no. Uh, 17 and uh, 12. 19 and 11. Okay. 14 and... Um, Don't fuck me, Ren. Try not to. <laughs> uh, the second one is 13. Ren and Rosa pass and drag two bodies in towards the center. King of Cats gets one body, falls on his ass, and gets uh, frosty. Give Ooh. me another. Give me another uh, roll, King of Cats. Uh, see if you can pull him again. Eighteen. So there are six. There are two left. One of them is the boss on the far side, and one is a grunt. Who wants to go after them? I'll go after them. I will also send uh, Sean and Ed to help uh, them out. Okay, uh, you know I can go in and like shape water and like just you know disperse the ice. So you can, if you good. want. 
But also, we want the ice to make it easier to move the bodies. That's true. That's yeah. true. Ah. That's why you are. That's why you are king of cats. Yeah. So Rosa and Ren, give me another straight up D twenty. What? D twenty straight up. Um, I don't need it. I have. A, I have a. I'm very strong, actually. Fifteen. Uh, I don't care about your strength. I care about your ability to walk. Uh, Ren falls on his butt and gets the frosty anus. Uh, Try again, Ren. I, I grabbed the boss to do this, by the way. Like a boss. So this is supposed to be easier, huh? Yes, Ren, if you fail this time, you're getting an icicle up the hoo-ha, and you aren't going to like that at all. In case you uh -oh. haven't figured out, 12 is your magic number. Icicle time! Pull it again. Take three hit points of damage as you now uh. have a hole in your butt. It's uh, natural. Give me a third try. Okay. Or you can say, fuck it, let the zombies pull them. Fuck it, let the zombies pull them. Uh, the, zombie, the zombies will go one or two. I make it easy for them and I start. Uh, a one and a six. Let's see <laughs> if he fails the second time. A 12. He passes this time. So the zombies do what Ren cannot. And. <laughs> Uh, drag the bodies towards the center. Night Damn, King, roller. what do you want to do? Six. Seven. Night King. <laughs> nice. Night King. Eight. Okay. Uh, I will spend almost. Oh. Oop. Nope. I'm good. You guys can hear me. Uh, yeah. I will create two fourth level spots and a third level spot, which I will twin. And we will now have uh, 11 zombies with us who I have raised from the dead. And meanwhile, I do my whole ritual thing on them. You know, I play with the corpses a little bit. I steal their soul as I walk over them. Like, ah, oh, ah, oh, this is great. And um, how well armored are they at the moment? Uh, hide armor and their shields are dropped. So 15. Okay. That drops down to a 13. So actually, everyone's the same. Uh, so, guys, I want to introduce you to Philip. Uh, Beetlejuice is on the list. Do not worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I am naming the cast of Shaun of the Dead, in case you haven't noticed. There's Philip. There's Diane. There is Barbara. <laughs> there's Pete. Fuck Pete. There's Pete, Mary. Hey, Pete. Fun fact. Pete was uh, Darth Maul. Oh. No shit. Yeah. You'll never look at him the same way again. Ray nope. Parks. <laughs> and his, his best role ever was with Melissa McCarthy and Spy. <laughs> yes. But yeah, he was Darth Maul. Yep. Well, technically, still is Darth Maul if you count the solo movie. That's true. Yeah. Uh, or um, what was it? The Clone War, Clone Wars. That's what they brought him back. It was it was the cartoon. Okay. So anyway, there is Pete. There is Mary. There is David, <laughs> and there is Beetlejuice. He is the big boss. Yeah. Philip, Philip, are you going to the Winchester afterwards? I, I thought think we, we were going to the Winchester to begin with. <laughs> okay, uh, on the map that's on the screen, you have two choices that you can go to. This is the ward that you were looking for, Ward 6. Uh, it is upright. Its skeletal buildings are still present, mostly intact. You can continue down the main road, or you can go up through the jaunt and hope you can cross over here unless there's already damage. Main road? I love, main road looks shorter. Yes. That's fine. Uh, what area, using a clock as reference, which area would you like to explore? Uh, probably the part where we enter first. So yeah. seven o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK. Uh, it is the Winchester Tavern. Yes. We all made it, guys. <laughs> 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 will you lose part of your zombie horde i will not you don't know that you don't know you don't know <laughs> you don't know 
Uh, okay. I'll so, die. Uh, an investigation of this will take about 15 minutes. Rosa, you're the, uh, who still has the stone? Sean? Uh, I suppose so, yes. Are you three going to go into these buildings alone or are you going to take the whole friggin' horde in there? Make it like a romper room. <laughs> Oh, King of Cats, what do you want to do? What do you want to do, King, your highness? I'm just slowly pulling out the entrails of one of the zombies. Oh, oh, me? I, oh, um, you want the zombies to come with us? You are the experts, people. Uh, uh, what would you like to do? I, I don't know what we're going to find in there. Push uh, the entrails back into uh, uh, Mary. I if, if they could leave, they could, we could leave the zombies outside to guard the door. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's the plan and I could take I guess I could take the stone and bring it in here mm -hmm. we can uh, your highness you can call the zombies if we get in trouble right no Maybe, no no of course I can of course oh well, I, you are they are not zombies <laughs> they are not zombies please They're use their name Wait, we uh, are not Rosa here we are not being xenophobic or racist oh will you please stop they are people Xenophobic or racist. Ah. Cats fine in case That's exactly know. what a xenophobic racist, racist would say. Would say. <laughs> oh, my your Confederate here. flag is uh, sticking out of your pants there, hey, Rosa. Hey, King of Cats, my name point out, how have I treated you? Just fine. So. Uh, me just fine? It's. Are you treating me like your friend? You're so fine. That's right. You are my. I assumed you were my friend. Is that so you can go and hang out with Tabaxi and be like, "Hey, hey, I got the Tabaxi friend." No, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, the token Tabaxi. <laughs> Hi, wow, <laughs> Rosa, I am hurt. I come I, from a rich, eclectic history of Tabaxi. I realize, mean, I don't personally because I am their god, but you realize I actually like Tabaxi. Even though she's never played one, she's got a lot of tabaxi friends. Right. <laughs> oh. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Uh, for every building that you investigate, it's going to take about 15 minutes. I figure you guys have wasted about an hour being all stealthy and shit. We did. Uh, so, I think good, maybe good we news. probably stop the stealthiness with the March of the Undead, though. Yeah. Right, I, and I agree. So, good news, Rosa, the stone is still working. Oh, oh, good. So it's been one hour. So you guys are going to go into uh, number seven o'clock, look around, and you will find nothing in the Winchester okay. except some old bard instruments. Clearly, the queen is dead. <laughs> they killed the queen. Let's move around clockwise then. Check each area. So next is eight o'clock. Now, still the like about. This is, oh, thank you. Uh, this is a Cooper shop. A, the uh, owner was named Bradley. <laughs> Hanging with Mr. Cooper, huh? That's right. He's got a hangover. <laughs> Next up, uh, that's two, so that's... Two down. There's probably a reason I'm keeping track of 15 minute intervals, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, next up is nine o'clock. Thank you. Uh, nine o'clock is something called the Nakatomi building. <laughs> God. Oh, Lord. oh, God. Is there, is, <laughs> is there a Hans Gruber? There's nobody in here. Nobody's okay. nobody's around. There is a okay. body hanging from a rope up near the top floor. Uh, It'll be useful later. Tink. That's a down and take. Uh, in all these buildings, there is the inner courtyard. Uh, so you can see pretty much there is no movement around here. Uh, but as you look right here, all of these buildings look out into the interior courtyard. And you do not see any movement whatsoever there. Uh, next up is 10 o'clock. It is a tanner shop. And there's nothing in here either. Okay. 11 o'clock. 
you see the bodies of 11 skeletal remains. Ooh, let's drag those guys out into the courtyard. <sighs> okay. Are you going to do that? Are we going to do that? Uh, the zombies will do that. You guys continue on your search and call if you well, need it. The zombies are outside. Outside of seven. Yes. So I will come out into the courtyard. Hello, come in. We need to get these skeletons. Why do we need these skeletons? For the undead masses. <laughs> they are not undead, I tell you. I have brought them back to life. Ah, okay. As soon as we have, uh, as they have done the favor for me, I will let them go back to their families. These structures Except are... For yeah, these structures are three floors, either two floors above in a cellar or three floors straight up. That's why it's taken 15 minutes because you're creeping around uh, doing Black Hawk down. Okay. Uh, you are at two hours and 15 minutes. Rosa, your stone flickers, but the intensity returns. Uh, are you ready for 12 o'clock high? Yeah. <laughs> Casey Zemeco <laughs> is the owner of 12 O'Clock High. This is an educational surplus store. And uh -oh. it's empty as well. An empty book depository? <laughs> yep. There was a crossbow up on the top floor. <laughs> Missing a bolt. Uh, ah, too many Kennedy references. Uh, <laughs> One o'clock. This is a sports shop. <laughs> nice guy. There's nothing here, man. Is it Dex? Yeah. Uh, no. It's vulvas. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, two o'clock. It's it's the duo for you. Oh, it is a uh, a tire shop. Oh, finery, clothing, some cool hats. I thought it was like an actual tire, tire shop because like, there is a. Well, that doesn't make much tire. sense, but all right. A tire, a a tire. not a tire. a tire. They're working on these cement tires for these new rubber roads. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Uh, the third one is some kind of bakery. So I, I'm going to steal a hat, by the way, if there's any hats left. There's a bowler. There is a top hat. There is a beret, raspberry in color. Uh, and there, there's one that appears as though you could put food in it. It's pointed in the middle and has a wide brim. They call it the umbrella. I don't wow. take that, but I do take the raspberry beret because it's the raspberry beret. Let's see how it looks on you. Eh, it's okay. I take the bowler and I put it on Sean. Wait, I've got a charisma now, 17. It looks good on me. Now, it now does Sean is Sean coming with you or is Sean outside? Because Sean is in the courtyard in the center. Right. So, so as you, are, you out, aren't doing shit with him. Oh, so you guys are going in through the courtyard and back, not all the way around the. Uh, that's how I assumed. I, okay, that's fine. I because it would work. allow people to not see us as we were walking around the outside. Oh, Three hours. Oh my God. <laughs> that is the greatest light spell I have ever seen. <laughs> Three hours and 30 minutes. Uh, it's flickering, but if you give it a slap, it comes back. Uh, while you are in the attire shop, uh, give me perception checks. Oh, 22. I don't see anything. Still on that, it's still uh, got perception. 12. Perception. It is okay. King of it, Cats is omniscient. It's eight. You guys are on floor <coughs> top level. <coughs> on the floor top level. Okay. The noise somehow is below you. I don't hear it. I keep, I, I'm looking at myself in a mirror with the, with the hat on. So okay. you are uh, zombie land mm -hmm. messing with her sombrero. Mm -hmm. uh, so King of Cats, somehow, somewhere, for some reason, you guys missed something or something's come in the door behind you. 
uh, and hasn't been spotted by your zombie horde, but there's something moving around downstairs. I will mentally command my zombies to fill the first floor. Okay. And then I will say, there are someone below us. Don't ask me how I know. It is my godlihood, actually. I, I will go <laughs> ahead and tell you. You don't have that. I'll just tell you. I can, there's someone below us. Or do something. You want, well, hey, it's, do yes. you want me to sit down there and look? Uh, that would be a general good idea. Uh, try not to close your eyes when you look, though, like you did last time. I can do that. Maybe it's a know. human thing where they just, you know, close their eyes so they don't have to look at the tabaxi people so much. <laughs> oh, shut up. Perception no. check, all three of you. Oh, Lord. Uh, oh, that's mm. awesome. Perception. So that's a 26? 15. Uh, <laughs> nine. <laughs> King of Cats, Rosa, as you look out the window towards the uh, courtyard, wow. a bat comes out of the second floor and moves off into the moonlight. What do you think that meant? I don't know. I should probably toast it. And I cast Guiding Bolt in it using my last spell slot. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> no, I will go ahead and let the bat go. Unless, is this a vampire bat? <laughs> That's Hold on. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Giggling. Yeah. So on to number four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's sundown, so we better take care because something's been creeping around our back stair. Well, Gordon Lightfoot, folks. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> creeping up on the four o'clock hour, Rosa, as you enter the last building in the area, Catitudes. <laughs> Oh, I like this place. <laughs> Rosa, don't be so catty about this place. You can all hear something upstairs. This place, you come in, and it has a cellar, and it has an upstairs. Something is moving around upstairs, not even trying to hide itself. So it's loud? Yep. Sounds heavy? Sounds like crates are being knocked over. We go check it out. I can hear you up there if you do not want a zombie horde. I mean, a perfectly fine living horde of people coming up to get you. <laughs> you should come downstairs and reveal yourself now. I am a god. <laughs> Your god. Persuasion. All right. I get to do something I'm okay at. <laughs> up by the stairs. Oh. oh. 26. Uh, oh. No, but you hear a loud clunking like it's going downstairs. All right, I'm going to station myself by the stairs and make a spell check. Uh, give me a perception check first. Okay, fine. I'll do that. That's a perception again. I think I remember. 24. For lack of a better term, a four-foot-tall cat tree is coming down the stairs banging down on some of the treads and it lands at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> While King of Cats is busy, the rest of you are under attack. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly something is upstairs. I'll make my way up, draw my weapons, make my way upstairs as quiet as possible. Wish I had that. Okay, that's not terrible. That's a 17 stealth. Okay. You move up the winding staircase, you give a little peek at the top, and you find this is where they kept all of the cat trees. Uh, there are a wide variety of trees here. Uh, some have hemp rope covering them, some of them have fabric, some of them have other things. Do you have the light stone? I do. You want to expose it? I kind of do but I'm going to need Expose your stone, Rosa. <laughs> Show us your stones. <laughs> So I take them slightly lift off the light. So now you can see. Whole, yeah, you can see a whole bunch of cat trees in here. The staircase is very narrow. It only allows one person up at a time. Who's coming up behind Rosa? Uh, Sean will. Okay. Uh, where's the box of poisonous snakes that I've been using a lot? I know. Oh, man. 
Rosa, <laughs> give me uh, da, 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 da. yeah, give me initiative. Initiative. Do I, do I see, by the way, what the hell was doing Big Nose Racket? You see a dark shape swooping towards you. Oh. 13. 13 as well. The uh, Eric, phone is going at my feet, by the way. Uh, King of Cats, give me <laughs> Sean. Well, Sean's a zombie, so he's last, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Uh, okay, Rosa. You I think better. someone here is racist against zombies. And he's not I a zombie. Know. He's dead. I agree. I agree. Rosa, I, I don't care. I'm, I'll be racist. <laughs> I hate everybody. I like my cat and my dog sometimes. Uh, Rosa, you and the dark shape. Go ahead. I'll let you have first swipe at it. All right. Well, it comes into, like I said, I the, the stone is dropped at my feet. Mm -hmm. So does it come into the light then that's 20 feet? Oh, yeah. But this, what is this dark shape then? So you want me to attack first? No. But <laughs> give, I me, like give me an arcana check. Let me see if you know what it is. Uh, I don't have arcana as a friggin' thing, so it's not going to be very good. That's only an eight. You don't know what it is. Well, is it substantial? Is it? Is oh yeah, this is the big. This is the big bad guy. Remember, Kyle's here, so I've got to keep it at two hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to keep it at an hour and forty-five minutes. I will fill the last fifteen minutes. <laughs> don't worry about Ed and Lizzie and Pete and Diane and Barbara and Mary and Beetlejuice moving behind you, Ren. It is perfectly natural. <laughs> oh, nothing is going to happen. Uh, I know a 10 is going to miss, or a 9 is going to miss. I'm going to, uh, 15? Does a 15 hit? Nope. <clears throat> really? Yep. This is the big bad guy. Yep. So, my turn? Uh, uh yep. Orange tentacle, uh, green oh, is God. tail. Oh, that's gross. Well, you got lucky. That's a three and a seven. So I'm assuming a 14 doesn't hit. A 14 does not hit. So those of you at home doing math, this thing gets plus seven to hit. Uh, wow. Zombie Sean is still stuck <laughs> on the stairs. Uh, he will be able to fight next round if Rosa wants to move out of the way and yeah, let. Yeah, Sean. I would. I would take. A it should step. also be known that something is going on. Otherwise, Sean is just going to stand there at the top of the stairs with you. Nope, I am. I do take a step, ah! <laughs> <laughs> but I have a move, so my move would be to step, stay within his range, but step. Thing, and I, and then again, come to think of it, I could move away from him and yes, still not. Oh. I, I'm hoping Sean kicks the stone. Okay, Rosa, round two. Don't uh, you dare kick the stone. Go ahead, Rosa. You can have the first attack. I'm. All right, so, I'm. I'm quite certain you aren't going to kill me. Uh, okay, so that's 18 is your magic number, by the way. How much? 18. Okay, well, the 19 on the die plus uh, plus seven is a 26. Mm -hmm. And you said 18? Well, that works because 11 plus eight is 19. Mm -hmm. So that will hit twice, and that sneak attack because I am a swashbuckler and I can just sneak attack people within five feet of me. Oh, thank God for the, that sort of thing. It's not green, it's eight. So, <clears throat> 10, uh, 10, 22, 24. Dual weapon lets you put your uh, ability thing on both hits, right? So that's another nine. So 24, nine is 33. Okay. Uh, again. <laughs> Orange is the slashing, green is the tail. All right. Ooh. Uh, 21 and 15. The 15 misses, 21 hits. I'm going to use my reaction to dodge to take half. Okay. Probably a good idea considering what I'm yep. going to be rolling. I turn to Ren and I say, Rosa is being awfully quiet up there. I wonder if anything bad is happening to her. I am not. No, me too. <laughs> oh, well. You know, Sean would come down and let us know if something bad was happening. He would. Because he is living and not undead and mindless. Mm. Half is 12. Okay, that's that's okay. Uh, Sean, first off, give me a straight-up D20 roll. <laughs> that is a 16. 
does not kick the stone. Because uh, I was going <laughs> to kick it underneath something and black out, please. Out. Uh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead and attack AC 18. Well, Sean doesn't know that, or I don't know that there's anyone up there. So Sean is just standing up there waiting for more orders. Are you Back to Rosa. <laughs> you didn't say anything. You can, I, it's not. I, I, I will take a perception check. And if I hear something, uh, wow, that is a two plus three. Does a five hear anything? I'm not seeing quiet. <laughs> what the hell's going on up there? I, th I think she's playing with those damn cat trees. Yeah. You know what, Ren? I think Rosa and Sean had something special. I got it. I I'm think so. Yeah. Hey, she's, wow. she's buckling somebody's swash. Go ahead, Rosa. I'll give you the first. I will actually call it. Hey, look at all these cat trees up here. It's so awesome. Let's see if it'll come up. Uh, that is... That's not going to be, the first one's not going to be an 18, but the 19 plus 6 is 26. So that will hit I'm with the short sword. And I'm going to. Now, do you get sneak attack damage because you're the only one hitting it? I get sneak attack damage because that's, that is the, I will look up the uh, feature. <clears throat> it is called. Uh, it is called Rakish Audacity. You add, oh, no, wait, that's. Uh, that's that's well. The first thing is you add your charisma modifier to initiative rolls, which is my why my initiative's decent. You don't. You don't need is decent. <laughs> no, no, I roll. Well, I didn't roll well. I have a plus seven. Um, you don't need advantage on the attack to use your sneak attack against a creature if you're within five feet of it. That's how. And I'm good. you are the only, or it is the only creature within five feet of you. So essentially, if you are dueling a creature, you get sneak attack. And this is the only rogue who can do this. Oh, so you friggin' just screwed me. Why'd you send him? No, up? no, again, the zombie is not attacking you. He is yeah, a the zombie. The zombie's not present. Friendly for the moment. All right. It's so when you sneak attack and they have friends nearby, you don't get the damage. Correct. All right. So Wh you're which sounds completely opposite of what it should be. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to attack you since you're alone. I'm going to sneak attack you. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. How much damage did you do this I mean, time? All it says is creatures. It does not actually say friend or foe. So that's up to you if you want to, however you want to do it. I don't give a shit. They're leaving you to die. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let's see. One, let's see. Five, nine, ten, twelve. And what the hell is the bonus? <clears throat> 12 and I can't tell. Four and six. You much? got this. 14. I, uh, I, was, I was relishing at my nat 20 that I nailed you with. How much uh, damage? Dodge. Dodge for half. How much damage? I said 14. 14. Right? Five. That, 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 that's what I thought you wait, said. Wait, wait, wait. Five and four is nine. One is two. Oh, come on, math. Twelve. No, I think it's sixteen. It's sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. That's it. Uh, do you want to uncanny dodge uh, the slashing or the tailing? Because Whichever you roll the nap fucking twenty on. That's what I want to uncanny dodge. Okay, that's the tail. Uh, the slashing got you with a sixteen plus seven, twenty-three. Yeah. Okay. So first off, we'll do the tail. And that is uh, six and three. And we roll because you guys are seventh level. So you have that five. And then <laughs> the tentacle, which is the, the nasty boy, is. Oh, okay. I see. No, that's all right. They're both going to be nasty because that is 20, 22 on that one. Uh, give me a perception oh. check, King of Cats. I'm up, but I am, boy, that took a lot. A uh, 12. <clears throat> when you fight the BBG alone, that's what happens. 12, you hear sounds of scuffling upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> call out because that probably 
freaking hurt. And, and I mean, you, you also did call out, but you did you not say you were in danger. <laughs> ah! Damn it. Ah, she didn't say she was in danger. <laughs> You know, no, she said you... there's a bunch of cat trees up here. So now oh, that's true. Sean is going to grab a cat tree and bring it down. And I'm going to send the other zombies to ignore the fight and grab the cat trees and bring them down. Now, hold on. I oh, thought wait, you wait. had all the zombies out in the, the open area. I can mentally command them from 60 feet away. I, yeah, but they're going to have to w drag their fucking bodies in. Uh, 40 feet if they dash uh, a turn. <laughs> Okay, Red, fast what zombies. Do you, they Red, are actually fast zombies. I mean, yeah, this is Ren. What do you want to do? Because I'm guessing King of Cats wants a Rosa zombie, is what he's doing. I, that's what it sounds like. Uh, no, I, I'm it, gonna say if you want me to go my turn, I'll go my turn. Okay, you, you guys can both go. What do you want to do? Okay, go ahead, Ren. All right, <laughs> I'm not gonna leave her to hang by himself. Is Sean in my way? No, Sean's picking out a cat tree. Yeah, he's picking out a cat tree. Okay, <laughs> okay I, I I come to the top of the stairs and I look and... Uh, She's fighting a an alpha grick. An alpha grick. Okay. Uh, that grick is going to have to make a wisdom save of 15. Mm, plus two. Uh, not good enough. Okay. Eight. It is going to take... Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see. Uh, 11 points of psychic damage as I mind spike it, and I will know where it is for a oh, while. It's, it, it's clear where it is. Because... In case it flees. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to spend a, um, uh, oh, what are they called? A point. <laughs> sorcery, <laughs> a sorcery point. point. Yes. And I'm going to quicken a spell as a bonus action. And I am going to cast. Uh, now, can you spend the sorcery point and quicken an action? Because that sounds I like two different you can. things. I thought you, you can. I thought you can, Kyle. Quicken. <laughs> it's still a spell and a cantrip. Right. All right. Go yeah. ahead. All right. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, Remember, cast... DMs. Defer to somebody who knows if you don't know. Exactly. <laughs> It's like wearing a mask. It doesn't make you weak. It just means that you don't want to wear a mask. Okay. Uh, I net 20 it. Okay. Uh, with a total of 29. And okay. it's going to take a whopping... Uh, Three points of damage. Yeah, probably. <laughs> no! Oh, God, don't do that, Lily. No, no, no. Uh, 19 plus 4. Uh, 23 points of damage. Not bad. Are you coming up? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm getting in the fight. Uh, give me a d20 roll. Okay. Please kick that stone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a one, but it's not good. It's Is five. It a two? Okay. No, it's a five. Uh, Ren runs up, kicks the stone closer towards you rosa <laughs> so good news there's a little bit more light on you bad news is there's a little bit more, more light. light on you <laughs> uh ren and uh king of cats give me initiative rolls as well yes. please hey ren are you down by the way are you uh you're not within five feet of it are you uh i don't know it depends on the layout of the the room it's a 20 foot uh area 20 foot by 20 foot? Yeah. Okay. I assume I'm wondering how so many zombies I room, So I'm, I, I'm at least uh, 15 feet away from you, I think. Well, it's got to be away from it. Oh. Um, so it has to do with the sneak attack damage. I do better actually when I... Well, if, there, if you're meleeing it, then I still probably... I would imagine I still get the normal sneak attack parameters too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so what's your initiative rolls, Ren and King? Uh, 13 for Ren. 19 for King of Cats and the Zombie Horde. Okay. Uh, King of Cats, what did you want to do this round? Ren uh, blocked your path. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Um, I'm commanding uh, Sean and, well, hold on. Sh Sh Sean's upstairs picking out a fucking cat tree for you. <laughs> <laughs> We assume I heard a scuffle, so I'm being nice to the uh, rogue who's going to die. Blah, blah. I, it's only six minutes left. I can't murder them all like that. So I am going if you to had mentally... fireball, you could. 
And I'm not dead yet, okay? I command Philip, Diane, Barbara, Pete, Mary, David, Beetlejuice, Sean, <laughs> Ed, and Liz to go up and to attack the thing. What about Our Ren's block in their path. Uh, Ren is going to block at least 10 of them. Sean is in the room. Sean is in the room. So Sean will swing a uh, dirty 20 to hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, that went flying. Uh, and he does three bludgeoning damage. Uh, the 13s are up. That's uh, Ren, Rosa, and myself. Uh, Rosa and Ren, you guys can go ahead and attack. You might kill me this round, but I don't think so. Yeah, you know, if you got a good enough one, you could probably could. Yeah, okay. But I, I'm uh, still going to get an attack. Um, all right, Rosa, well, do your thing. <laughs> but wait, I'm going before it, right? Because this is very important. All three of us are 13s. We're all going at the same time. Right. I just let well, you roll first. I right. rolled a 19, so do I not get to act first and the zombies as well? He did. Because as a bonus action, I'm drinking a potion. That's fine, but we're all going at the same time. So, uh, <laughs> King of Cats, Phil or uh, Sean's attack started us off. Oh, I thought that was me acting last turn, and now we're starting. Yeah, no, you okay. you, you were sending the rest of the horde up, but Sean, or because he's in the room, got to attack. So oh, okay, that was his attack. Wait. All right, so I rolled. Anyways, I gave. I'm first. I'm going to heal myself uh, with a bonus action. For, what is it, plus, it's 2d8 plus 2d8 plus 4, no ones. 16 points of healing. Okay. And then I hit on a, I rolled a 16 to start, so that's a, a 24 mm. with the right BR. And oh, sneak it. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, so uh, hang on a second, Rosa. Uh, Sean uh, punched the thing, so he's going to be within five feet. Just oh, but he's, but he's meleeing, right? He's yep. melee, yes. So it's normal parameters for sneak attack, right? Sure. All right. I assume that, that I assume just because I have that ability doesn't mean I give up the normal one. It doesn't say you do. So I assume I still get sneak attack. So that's uh, 20, uh, 24 po uh, 25 points of damage. Okay. Uh, Ren, how much are you going to do? Okay, I am going to, uh, let's see, since uh, Rose is in the way, <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit it with another mind spike. No, I'm not in the way. I remember I stepped off to the side. Okay, are you more than five feet away from it? What's that? Are you more than five feet away from it? No, I'm, I've got to be five feet away. Oh, you mean in the way like that. I thought you mm -hmm. meant as a physical in-between. Mm -mm. uh, uh, I'm going to hit it with another mind spike, so it's got to make another whiz save. Whiz. Uh, 14? It, it fails. Okay. So it now, does is. she have to make the whiz save? No, no, no. It, it's a specific object. Okay. Uh, with, with that, I am going to hit it for... 4d8 psychic damage. Okay. And uh, that is 20 points psychic damage. Okay. Uh, how many hit points does uh, Sean have? 22. Okay. Yeah. So if you just let me know what the deal is, I got it all taken care of on my end. So uh, the green is the uh, tail, the orange is the uh, nasty one, and the D6s will tell me who they're going after. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Both on me? Nope, uh, just the first one, and that is definitely going to hit you because that's a 19 on the die roll. And which uh, the uh, it, dodge? It's the tail. Uh, and uh, 16 plus 7 for Sean. That barely so, hits. I will not be, yeah, I will not be dead. That's for sure. Uh, so half of the tail is 10, so you take 5. Uh, and this, the nasty gram here is <laughs> 48. Where the hell's my That'll other? That'll be fine. It'd be fine. Plus four. Oh, and he gets a 2d8 plus four for the bite. 
Uh, eh, that's average. Uh, 16 plus 4 is 20, and then the bite. Ooh. Uh, 32 damage. Holy Sean? Is shot. this, what kind of damage is this? Uh, slashing on the tentacles and piercing for the bite. Oh, okay. Uh, so what was the damage again for the last one? The uh, bite? It was 32 total, so it was 12. 12? Okay. 12 and 20. 20 Sean slashing. goes down bite. and then stands back up again with one hit point. Relentless endurance? Uh, undead fortitude. Yeah. But he is not undead. Uh, well, Regular he's, old life fortitude. He's got a Grick Alpha draped across him as it dies. Oh. Yes! And then I mentally command Philip, Diane, Barbara, Pete, Mary, David, Beetlejuice, Sean, Ed, Liz. They're screaming up there. Murder everything up there. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> only, to only be safe. Only one of them can enter the fray at once. Nah, I'm kidding. It's 10.01. I made it last longer than two hours, so I'm good to go. It's always going to last about 10 over. Uh, every, <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Note, the Ren, zombies are now going to do this to make sure it lasts longer. <laughs> Ren and Rosa investigation checks. Out the window, that's all. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, oh. Investigation, right? Yep. Yeah, that is not my strong suit. It isn't mine, but I rolled a 16. Eight. Oh. <laughs> Nothing up here but cat trees. Really? Don't worry, guys. I will come up and I will take a look. <laughs> and take a look. <laughs> I rolled a three on the die, so that's two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's no resurrection stone in the catitudes. <laughs> well, lucky for us, Sean is perfectly fine, aren't you, Sean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's uh, shack up here for the night, raise an undead army in Mervyn, take over the place. That's it. Wow. Uh, final thoughts. Sounds like uh, a plan, Your Highness. <laughs> your old final thoughts on uh, Merv. Merv. <laughs> So wait, how many? So when, how many hit points did it have left when I went? Oh, after it did what the twenty-two to me? Just out of curiosity. Uh, the one eleven strike uh, killed it by three. As I said, I still had another healing potion in my pocket, so I don't know, but I probably, I definitely needed help. That's all I'm going to Well, the help. bonus was that uh, Sean was there. Because if Sean hadn't been there, it was just going to be an odd or even. But yeah. with Sean there. Yeah, that saved me in the last round. No, oh, this yeah. great fight. I like that fight. Um, You're welcome, Rosa, despite your racism towards tabaxi. Um, <laughs> so, racist towards tabaxi, and maybe someday I will play one. I just... It hasn't really. Hey, those people are okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, those people? I, I say that all the time. It's not about types or races or anything else. I just say it to refer to, okay, we have our group here and their group. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Meanwhile, it just happened to be yeah. all the tabaxis, except for the one you were talking to. I hear that bicycle in that group back, <laughs> backing up. <laughs> so how is Merv? And I think tabacs are cool. So I love Merv. That sounds like a fun town to continue to explore and dominate. Yeah. It does. Uh huh. And David, final thoughts. Uh, I enjoyed it. I yeah, I love the cat treats. <laughs> so uh, the the tabaxi, yeah, that, that was just funny. Kyle rolls the tabaxi and didn't yeah, even. Yeah, that, that, that was, was set scary. at the start of it because nobody ever plays tabaxi. And I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, I'll just do this. And it's like, I'm going to play a tabaxi. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I remember this character. So uh, I, I know he's played the King of Cats before. And it's yeah, it, one of my it, favorites. Was it, it the charity? No, no. Okay. I, I, I did the King of Cats and Jody as the charity games, along with whatever I ended up playing for you, Frank. Yeah, you played you played the King of Cats and one other one. But uh, no, I hope you liked it. Uh, it was originally built as a sandbox, but I decided to roll 
at the start of the game to see if I if there would be a reasonable uh, assumption of solving it. There was, and with roles like you guys had, oh, you are, you're not going to find it. <laughs> I think if you're not rushed, you can keep checking, and I would just keep checking until we found it. Yeah, I was I was using uh, the D and D and dice roller. I had some good rolls to start, but some bad ones after that. That algorithm needs some work. Yeah. <laughs> Sixteen isn't ba that bad, honestly. Yeah. I only have plus two. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, uh, folks! Thanks for joining us. Uh, hopefully, you watched Obama's speech. Uh, but you can catch us on replay. Uh, to all you 2020 yes. graduates out there, we're real sorry that the world fucked you over. Yeah. Uh, get used to it. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not your first time. It's not going to be your last. Uh, uh, but yes, to all our graduates, congratulations. You guys deserve a pat on the back for doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, yeah, so 2020. Don't to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to chat with us, uh, tinyurl.com. Uh, M Hobo Inc. Discord, and if you want to buy our cool stuff, RPG swag, fucking duvet. You can buy a duvet. <laughs> but you can even buy a skateboard on. You can buy a skateboard. Yeah, I was thinking Jesus about the Christ. skateboard. Yeah, so you know, uh, take a look at it. If you see a design that you like, Carol's put up a few. I put up a few. Uh, if you like it, uh, get it and pay attention to our Twitter account because oh, I accidentally tell you when there's free shipping and shit's on sale. Just saying. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we do have a game tomorrow afternoon uh, with our good campaigners. Oh, uh, nice. uh, that's uh, true, though. Let's be honest. <laughs> they will return, and we'll see how they do. They are currently searching three uh, thorps or villages for a problem that uh, keeps swallowing up the towns. Uh, Tuesday night, we'll be doing between the rules, most likely, with something. Who knows? It's a crapshoot. We're really disorganized, but we don't follow a script. I'm just no, saying. No. Uh, <laughs> for all of us here say. at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, keep washing your hands, keep covering your cough, and congratulations, 2020. If you had a birthday out there, Ashley, I believe, uh, had a birthday yesterday. Oh. Happy, birth Happy birthday, uh, Ashley. Happy birthday, Ashley. Happy birthday to oh my you. God. you. Happy birthday to you. Get him off there. Happy Ooh. birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. Oh my God. Thank you for watching MHITV. This concludes our broadcast. <laughs>